In this video we're going to talk about the roof rack. We wanted a roof rack so we could mount the solar panels on it and we also wanted a roof rack that did not penetrate the roof with holes being drilled through the roof. Our roof rack extends from the frontmost mounting post all the way back to the end of the van. Notice that the front ceiling vent is in the center and the roof rack has a crossbar right behind it. We did this to keep prevent a lot of wind from catching on the crossbar. We also placed the crossbar in a 45 degree angle and that will reduce buffeting when wind hits a flat surface. Notice that the roof rack extends beyond the roof vent. There's two reasons for this. One is we wanted to be able to connect an awning to the back when the doors are open so the rear doors don't get rained in. And the second reason is we want to mount the TV antennas and the cell phone antennas right next to the rear roof vent. This drawing shows six roof mounting pins on a short wheelbase van. We have a we have a long wheelbase van which has eight mounting points. Here is a drawing of a roof mounting pin. Notice there's a flat washer at the bottom, there's a quarter inch pin going up and then there's an oval shape on top. The space here around this quarter inch diameter is three sixteenths inch high and that's what the roof mounting bracket is clamped to. The bottom washer of this pin is welded to the roof permanently. You can't remove it, you can't unscrew it, so you have to find some way to clamp around this pin to avoid drilling holes in your roof. Much to our surprise, the going price for these clamps is $25 each, so that's $800 to do all eight pins. Well, we decided that was not acceptable. We found that a short piece of two inch aluminum square tubing worked just fine. You drill a quarter inch hole in the bottom of it, then you cut the slot through the hole and spread the bottom apart a little bit. Then you simply slide it over the pin and put the bolt through the holes drilled horizontally and clamp the bracket right to the pin. Notice that the pin hole wasn't drilled in the center, it was drilled offset. If you look at this picture you can see why. The pin is closer to the outside edge of the recessed area than the inside. So the pin has to be offset so it fits in there. Next we welded up the roof frame assembly using the same 2 inch square aluminum tubing, 8 inch thin wall. And once we got it welded together we put it up on the roof and we found that the front crossbar just barely touches the roof. So we put the frame down underneath the vehicle and jacked against the springs with the jack in the middle and bent a slight curve in the front cross member which now looks like this. As we mentioned earlier we placed the front crossbar at a 45 degree angle that way it would deflect the wind better than having a flat bar being buffeted by the wind. The roof rack rails were bolted to each bracket with two bolts. Notice we used stainless steel bolts outside with the aluminum so there would never be any rust issues. This concludes our roof rack build and installation. Several features were explained here which may help you achieve what you want. The solar panel attachment was quite easy. First we screwed a short length of inch and a half aluminum angle iron with two number 10 stainless steel screws. We screwed that angle iron to the roof rail, roof rack rail. Then we simply placed the solar panels in place and drilled holes through the brackets and the solar panel and used number 10 screws to screw the brackets to the solar panel. We did this on all four corners of each panel. It's very solid installation. No rust because of stainless steel and aluminum. If you don't know how to weld aluminum, just get some shop to do the welding for you. Just pre-measure everything, take it down there and they can weld it up for you. So good luck with your roof rack. 